Welcome to my channel. This tutorial series covers principles of fit in Clo. In this video, we will learn how to address the fit issues of a bodice with drag lines pulling across the upper chest and gaping at the center back neckline. Let's get started. Just like with anything that we're fitting, we're gonna start with our pre-fitting checklist. So first of all, we wanna make sure that our fit map is turned on here, so that's Alt-8. And um, that'll just show any, um, dis any stress points in the garment. Uh, we wanna make sure that the fabric that we want to make the garment out of is assigned in the property editor. So clicking my fabric in the object browser at the very bottom, making sure that that's the fabric you want. And then I also add a grid to the texture just to help see what's happening. I need to turn thick textured surface on to see that grid. Another thing I do is I apply seam taping to the neckline and the arm size just to make sure that they're not stretching out in a way that they wouldn't if sewn properly in real life. And then I turn on high res garment over here in the 3D toolbar. Um, particle distance anywhere between five and 10, whatever your uh, computer can handle. It, sometimes I just check it on a lower particle distance and then I, I change it to a higher one while I'm working. Um, we're going to try to keep it here for today um, because that's how we are able to see the definition of these drag lines. And then the last thing that I do is I just use the select move tool while simulating to kind of figure out where these drag lines want to sit naturally. And it also gives me a chance to kind of just look over the garment and see what's re what's really happening here. Once that's done, um, I just, you know, just to track what I'm doing, I like to copy everything with the um, transform pattern tool or the A hotkey, just select everything, copy and paste um, somewhere else in the 2D window, right click and then archive pattern just to have that as a reference for later. Okay, I'm just going to close out of these windows just to give myself some more space while I work. And um, what's really happening here with this fit issue is that this avatar's shoulders are actually quite rounded. Her neck is coming forwards, which is, you know, leaving all of this extra space here. Um, but what needs to happen actually is we need to lengthen the back and shorten the front, which will just kind of shift everything over. And to do this, I'm going to use the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey, which is right here in the 2D toolbar. And let's just start with the back. I'm just going to box select points G, H, and I. So that's the neckline and the shoulder. And I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just press up two times. So that was once and that was again. So that's just an easy way to move those points directly upwards on the Y axis. And I know that they're moving um, point two five inches or a quarter inch each time because in my settings under preferences and grid properties, if I open the property editor here, I can see in the 2D arrow key movement option, I have 0.25 selected. So I just like to keep that there because moving a quarter inch is a pretty easy increment to remember. And it helps me kind of keep track of the work that I'm doing. So that being said, we just moved points G, H, and I up by a half an inch because we moved up on the up arrow twice. And we can see that actually that made our problem worse in the front somehow. Um, the back, the, you know, it gave us more room so there's no longer this gaping in the back, but now we have all of this extra fabric in the front. But all we're gonna do to adjust that is basically the same thing, but the opposite. I'm gonna box select points A, B, and C in the front, and then I'm gonna press my down arrow twice to remove a half of an inch from the front. So when I simulate that really smooths that out quite a bit and that is um, pretty much addressed both of those issues. Um, the last thing I want to do is look at the arms eye. You know because her shoulders are rolled forward so much I'm actually going to need to move this arms eye towards the front as well. And I you know I could and you know just um, adjust the curves on the front and the back, but it looks like I, um, this whole side seam is kind of um, tilted to the back. So what I'm going to do is still with that edit pattern tool, I'm just going to select J and D. And this time I'm going to use the right arrow key and just go ahead and move that over two times 
and simulate and that looks like that balances out my arm side um, a, a lot nicer. Um, there's still work to do and you know you can refine these curves here but that looks like that addresses that fit issue pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments.